Hello, what's up? Another day, another update for our PS4 jailbreak scene. Though we get a lot of great updates on a daily basis, just to set our expectations, it is still on a testing period. A fully working gold hen is yet to be released. And on this video, we are going to share the latest updates, answer more questions, and provide expectations to those who are eagerly waiting for the next jailbreak. Now let us start with the latest update. The developers were already able to load the FPKGs on 11.0 as well as other payloads. But Sisto is still fixing some bugs and uh, to all freeloaders, let us just wait. They are definitely doing the best they can to complete the gold henna. And on this short clip that I'm about to share from EcoStretch, it shows here that they were able to load FPKG on 11.0. This simply means that we are almost there. And on this image here, it also shows that uh, we are having some developments for Android application. But is it worth it? In my opinion, no. For me, uh, even if you can run this via hotspot, uh, I find the process to be more tedious compared to simply using a Windows. Uh, and uh, you need your phone to be rooted uh, to be able to use this. I would rather wait for more updates for the Windows apps. And... Uh, it already gone through some pretty neat updates uh, compared to its initial release. So I'm sure it will only get better. And to those who are trying the jailbreak and getting some infinite errors, well, don't be surprised. Even if you have followed all of these steps and prepared all of the applications and tools, the success rate is uh, still very low. So what I can definitely suggest is just wait for more updates. And uh, we do get some uh, pretty updates on a daily basis. I'm sure in, a, in the next few days, we'll be able to have a fully working jailbreak. And when that happens, you can expect a full tutorial and we will definitely cover every issues that you may encounter. Now let us go ahead and answer some frequently asked questions. Because uh, since most of the testing are done on 11.0, is it now time to update to 11.0? Since uh, the uh, gold head is not yet working even on 11.0 updates are still unnecessary though i don't believe that uh, you will miss anything on your current firmware if you update to 11.0 unless you are on 9.0 or lower definitely don't update yet but if you are on 9.03 to 11.0 i believe that you are not missing anything if you update to 11.0 but then again update is still unnecessary so what can we expect in the next few days? Well, the only thing that we are missing to have a fully working jailbreak is a fully functional gold hen. And I do believe that uh, we can expect that in the next few days. But if it takes weeks, well, we have already waited for more than two years than what is a few days or a few weeks. And also aside from the gold hen, I am expecting a uh, good... Uh, improvement on windows application and of all uh, the procedures that i have tested what i can definitely recommend is simply use windows though using android seems uh, promising but uh, i don't know but i find it more tedious compared to just simply using windows since they have uh, really made some great improvements you don't have uh, to um, individually install every applications they have uh, prepared some steps where you can uh, just uh, simply click on the uh, applications that you need to install. So if you are preparing for a specific method, I would definitely recommend to prepare for the Windows uh, method. Now for those who want to try and test the jailbreak, let me again share what I think is the easiest way uh, to activate this latest jailbreak. Again, expect a lot of errors. Who knows, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we may get a fully working jailbreak and a more stable one. But for now, let us keep calm and wait. On the PC, we have to download the PPPWN Goa. You will find the link on our description, so just open the link, click on this part, and download zip. Next, we have to download and install NPCAP. The link is on our description. Open the link and scroll down a little. Click on this part to download this application. Let us start with installing the NPCAP. So just double click on the file. 
And since I have already installed this one, I can just go ahead and click on no. But the installation process is uh, pretty straightforward. Next, we'll have uh, to extract the PPPW and go. Inside the extracted folder, open the Python folder. Then we have to install these two applications, the number two and the number three item. So just double click on the file. You should see this, just press any key to continue. Now for this copy, you should also see this and just uh, press any key to continue. Next, we have to download and install the latest Python. Again, you will find the link on our description. Just open the link and click on this port to download the file. I have already installed Python, but I will add install this to show you how we can properly install this application. Because most of the errors that we get when running the new jailbreak comes from a uh, improper installation of Python. So first, I will go ahead and uninstall my Python. Now let us go ahead uh, and install Python. So just double click on the application. Check on the two options below. Choose Customize Installation. Make sure everything is checked. Click on Next. And make sure the second, third, fourth, and fifth option are checked. Then click on Install. After installing the Python, let us go ahead and prepare our PS4. On the PS4, make sure it is directly connected to your PC using an Ethernet port. Then go to the Network Settings. Set up Internet Connection. Use a LAN cable. Use Custom. Choose PPPoE. Use a random user and password. Then click on Next. Use Automatic. Automatic. Do not use. Then from here, you can just click Back. Now let us go back on the PC and prepare the application. On the PC, let us go ahead and open the PPPW and Go folder. Now we have to prepare our payload first before we can run the application. From here, open the PS4 Gold Hand. Choose your firmware. Since I'm using 9.0, I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Let's go ahead and use a 2.3. Now this payload.bin, we have to transfer this on a USB or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. For this, we are going to use our external hard drive formatted with XFAT. So we'll just go ahead and uh, drag and drop this on the root of the hard drive. Now let us go ahead and plug this external hard drive to our PS4. To minimize errors, make sure the PS4 can properly detect the hard drive. So what I do is I go to the capture gallery, choose any item, and make sure that we can copy or transfer this to the storage device. So if you see this error message, that means that the PS4 could not properly detect the hard drive. Now, if you can transfer anything to your hard drive, that means that you don't have any issues accessing the hard drive. Now, let us go back to the network settings. On the PC, let us go back to the PTPWN Go folder. Open this application. And here on the drop down menu, choose your firmware. Since I am using 9.0, I will choose 9.0 here. But the process and stability are the same on all versions. Now, once everything's all set, click on Go. And on your PS4, click on Test Internet Connection. The application may have or may encounter any errors uh, within the whole process. Like we have mentioned, the stability is still very low. Once you get stuck for more than 10 seconds, close the application, click on Go again, and on the PS4, hit on Back, and retest the internet connection. All you can do here is just make sure everything is uh, all set and you have prepared uh, the USB, you have installed every application and just wish for the application to be successful.
Well, fortunately, I think we have uh, successfully uh, run the application on our fourth try. You will notice that uh, my games uh, are now available. And to be honest, I cannot consider myself lucky to have a successful attempt on my fifth try. But like we have mentioned earlier, this whole jailbreak is still on the testing period. We still have to wait for a properly working gold hen. Until then, I can definitely recommend to just wait for further developments. So this will be it for now. If you still have any further questions or concerns, you can just go ahead and leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.